everybody and welcome to this video that's going to solve all your problems because I'm going to tell you why your book is not selling on Amazon. Bam! Okay, so here it is. Um, this is kind of also a retraction video or an apology video because again, I'm in the business of making apology videos all the time. No, but um, I did that video on Shaylin Wright's. And in the video I talked about, I think it's called Readsy, the thing that um, either she's a spokesperson for or owns a part of or whatever. And I gave her shit because in the thing it says, um, do you want to know why your book's not selling on Amazon? It's because it's not professionally edited. Well, by that time, I skip ad because like that's the five second thing. So I never heard the rest of the spiel, the glockenspiel, okay? So, because I've been talking about it a lot, the um, psychotic computer um, AI goes, oh, he would like to see that ad from Reedsy again. And so the ad came up again, and I'm like, oh, I'll watch the whole ad now. And honestly, the ad goes into a little bit of the, some of the shit I was saying. So, there's egg on my face, look. But here's the thing. It's still not 100% accurate because it said um, your book is not professionally edited or professionally designed or something. A and that works. But I'm going to tell you right now the reasons why your book is not selling. And if you can figure out how to fix this without having to pay somebody, you're going to fucking thank me. But just know the more money you put into the right places will sell your book. You could put a shit ton of money into absolute bullshit garbage that will not help your book sales. But you can put it in good places that will help your book sales. So first off, the cover. And they talked a little bit about this in the Readsy thing, so that's fine. Your cover has to be good. If you were like, I'm going to make my own cover just because, you know, it's my book and... Meh. And I really like this picture I took of a twig back in fucking whatever. Um, that's not going to cut it. Okay. But it's not just having your book cover look good. It's also having your book cover look like what other book covers in your genre look like. Okay. Because you can have the best looking cover in the world. But if that cover does not represent the type of book you've written, it will not sell to that crowd because the look of it is not recognizable, okay? So for instance, what's a good example of this? I'll use my Black Star books again because th these are the books that I experimented with more than anything. So the problem with Black Star Canyon or the Black Star series or whatever is that I tried to make a series that had elements of everything in it. It was a literal smorgasbord of things, okay? And the problem with that is, is that when you make your book a smorgasbord, um, Amazon doesn't know what the fuck to do with it, so they'll just, like, fucking push it off to the side. So because I felt the main shit of Black Star was a mystery... I ended up changing all the book covers to resemble the like top selling mystery books book covers. Okay. That bit me in the ass because apparently, even though I feel like the book's a mystery, when people read it, they feel like it's more horror. So people bought the book thinking it was going to be a mystery and it was not exactly that and that pissed them off. So the reviews I had reflected that. Now, if I would have redone the covers again, or at least used the original covers that I had, it would have come across more as a horror and would have done better on that reiteration of the book. So what you should do is whatever your genre is, go to the top 100 books and look for elements that are similar, whether it's font, whether it's colors, whether it's where things are placed, see all of this shit 
and figure it out and then like do something like that. And if you have a book out right now and it's not selling, do this, redo your cover and I guarantee your sales will increase. People have to be kind of spoon fed what shit is. So if they are looking for a horror title and they see a cover that has an interesting, recognizable thing, they will check it out at least. And then we go to the next problem, your title. If you have a horror novel, and I'm just using horror because it's an easy thing to go off of, but if you have a horror novel and it's called Butterfly Kisses, that title might mean a lot to you, but to a fan of horror, they're not going to fucking get it. And like you're like, oh, but if you read the book, you'll understand. Okay, the problem is you need people to fucking read the book. So let's try to get the motherfuckers to read the book first. So um, then you could call the book Ripping Wings Off of a Butterfly. That's kind of fucking terrifying. I still wouldn't use the word butterfly, but if that's like a big part of the book, then fuck it, you know? Or like if you're doing like a mystery, um, you know, like using things like The Case Of or um, The Something Something Mystery. That's another thing too. If you could put keywords into the title of your book that will help it show up in the algorithm so if your book's called like the um the west hollywood horror you know that would be a better search than um something else that doesn't have the word horror in it you know what i'm saying just like little things like this and then the other thing too when you're doing your title and your subtitle you have to make sure that whatever words you use in the title and the subtitle are actually on the jpeg um image of the book cover that's just an amazon thing like you could get into some shit if you don't do it like that okay so now that we've done the cover and we've done the title we need to do the sales copy Sales copy is the blurb that will make people want to read this book. Um, I just did a video for Anarchy Crew about how to write a good synopsis and shit like that. But long story short, the thing you need to have is you need to identify the main character, identify a problem identify an obstacle that's keeping your hero from obtaining said goal, and then ask a question to the person reading the blurb. Can so-and-so figure out how to blah, blah, blah? Something as simple as that is all you need, but it has to be simple, it has to be concise. And most authors, when they're writing their blurb, want to fucking say everything about the book because it's so fucking interesting. It's not. Okay, you need it short and sweet. Make people excited. Um, after that, then we have reviews. Now, this is where maybe professionally editing comes into it. Because if your book is not professionally edited, or at least not edited well, um, or even formatted well, there are people who will leave reviews. This book had blah, 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 blah. And it was uh, blah, just like people are fucking assholes, but whatever, you know, it's customers always right. Fuck them. So in that point, you would want to have some good shit, but your reviews, they don't matter as much on Amazon as they used to. They used to be like you live and die by your reviews. And I don't think it's like that anymore, but it's still good to have more positive reviews than negative reviews. You know what I'm saying? So. With all of that said, those are the things that you need to actually think about when you are selling your book on Amazon. Now, also, with all of this, your keywords have to be fucking good. If your keywords suck, no one's going to find your book. Okay? And keywords and trying to come up with good keywords and all this shit... That's a whole other fucking thing. And the way Amazon works... and. I would assume a lot of people know this now, but like when I talk to people, they still are confused by this. Depending on what keywords you use, certain keywords only relate to certain categories. 
So if you, because you only pick two categories. So if you pick a category, but then you're using keywords for categories that aren't in your two categories, that cancels it out for some fucking stupid reason. So if you go on KDP or even just Google search um, Amazon keywords, there's usually like a chain of like, it, there'll be like some sort of graph and or uh, Excel spreadsheet looking thing. And it'll tell you what keywords work with what categories. And so that makes it a little bit easier. But again, this is ever changing. So next week, this could be bad information. Okay, Amazon changes their shit whenever the fuck they feel like it. But these things are the things that make your book not sell. So think about it. And if your book is not selling the way you want it to sell, think about changing some of these things. I've changed titles in my books, like after it's been out, you know, it's whatever. Um, and then the other thing is, if you're going to spend money and you have all of your ducks in a row and everything looks good, I would say more than anything, get a book bub ad. It's going to cost you money and you're going to have to wait because there's a backlog. There always is. But if you could get your book in a book bub ad, chances are you're going to sell a shit ton of copies. It's going to cost, but it'll be good. And if those people like it and those people review it, it'll be a lot easier for you to sell more books. Okay. So, um, if this was interesting or, um, helpful, let me know down below. If you've had any situations like this where you've had to change something, let me know down below. It's always good to hear these people's stories like that. Um, and again, Shaylin, I'm sorry for speaking while skipping ads. I should have watched the whole ad. Um, anyway, other than that, this is not a paid advertisement for Re Reedsy or whatever it's fucking called. Anyway, um, keep buying my books, type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.